Well, y'all, you know, I told you I had bought some stuff to kind of make a little uh, Halloween arrangement to put on my table here on the front side of the house next to the patio. So I decided I'd see if I could get that together today and bring you along and let you see what I'm doing. And I know it's partially in the shade, but I want it to be in the shade for right now. And by the time I get it finished, maybe it, the sun will be on it to shine on my mums. But I'm going to use stuff that I had, you know, that I bought here a couple of weeks ago. My mums that were on sale for only a dollar each. Um, they're getting ready to uh, bloom again, I believe. Or it looks like they might. So I'm hoping they will. But anyway, I bought this. Uh, this came from the Halloween section. It's just a black tub. It's a plastic tub, and it was like $5, I think. Probably need to take the... I don't think I got stickers on it. But I have this styrofoam pieces that were in my shed where uh, that freezer had come in. And I saved the styrofoam because I use it in leveling my totes and my buckets and my pots in the yard so they sit level on the rocks. And I still had a bunch of pieces left. So I had this long strip and I cut it in sections. And I'll turn it up so you can see. I'm just gonna lay it in there like that. Put these pieces on the side. And I really decided that wasn't tall enough. So I cut some more pieces to go in here. And I just laid them in there like that as a filler. They can be thrown away later. And I decided I'd set my pots on top. See, that kind of gives them some clearance from the pot itself. And these were broken off, but you can see they're starting to regrow in the center. I've got a lot of new growth right here with blooms. So I'm hoping they will go ahead and bloom for me. Let's put the biggest ones in the back. And this one is starting new growth as well. And I'm going to cough it in spite of everything. I like to get that. See, these are my $1 mums. They still got the tag on them. See if I can pull that off because I don't want it to show above the... There you go. So I can get this one off. Well, fortunately, these come off fairly easy. They come off in one label. They don't, well, they haven't shredded so far into single pieces. So that'll be good. this one back here and get that label off because those were every one of those were a dollar a piece and I'm dropping stuff in the floor on the ground Ooh, it's getting hot it's 89 degrees out here already there we go Put the tallest ones, the biggest, the fullest ones at the back, I think. Let's see. Got that a little bit over. And put these at the front. And I might have to play with it a little bit. And if I have to, I can put a hole in the bottom of this in the center. So when I water the mums, because I will keep them watered. 
take some of the bad spots off of this. Because I'm going to put some decorations up here anyway, so it's not going to matter. <laughs> I bought some little pumpkins. And they were only 98 cents a piece. I got three of them. tags off of them. They're just what they call harvest foam pumpkins. Different shapes, different sizes. <laughs> and I got one for the front. But what I'm going to do to keep the wind from blowing away, I also bought these little wooden round dome, dowels as they call them. that'll go down in there. Yeah, I might have to break that off a little bit. I hate to break them, but you know, hey. And I'm just gonna stick it up through the bottom and put it right down in there. Let's see, I got also this. This was $4.98, but you know, it'll be reusable next year. That I can stick right down in the top of the plant, the flowers. That'll hold that in place. I think I want this one. And I'm tilting it just a tiny bit. And see, I can even stick it down in my foam that's in the bottom of the pot, just like that. You can use pieces of wire. I've even got a piece of wire in here if I can get it out. I had to pull all the dowels out to get that out. So if you don't have dowels, you can use like an old wire uh, clothes hanger. That's what this is a piece of wire off of. And it can stick right down in there. You can stick it right down in your uh, foam. You can bend it any way you want it. Tilt this one a little bit this way, I think. And it goes right down in the phone. And you can play with them. You can turn them any way you want them. I mean, you can even put them closer up under the um, let's see could have put them closer up under your um, pumpkin sign if you want Pretty much put them wherever you want. Turn them however you want. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Lucky has a hairball. <laughs> And then I got one of these, uh, or two of them. These garland things that for Halloween or fall, they were, I don't 
probably like a dollar ninety-eight or something like that. And they're pretty long. Which you can put right around it like this. I wasn't sure if one would go all the way around, so I did get two of them. But it doesn't matter because you, you might want to add two. Oh. And you can't even like put it inside of your dowel that's holding your pumpkin up to kind of hold it in place. Like I said, you can play with it. Let's see. Move them around, try to figure out how, where you'd like them the best to be placed. I don't really like that one there. Hmm. <laughs> this one's not going to cooperate as good. But you can see the... <laughs> kind of see what I'm getting at here. It's not going exactly where I wanted it, but... It's going to keep the wind from blowing them away. Huh. I'm not very good at placing it, am I? <laughs> And you can even take more of your dowels if you have them or wire, either one. To hold your uh, leaves in place. Ooh, it's hot. I might want to turn it so the back is to the front because I got a lot of the little um, let's see put this on here like this you just have to play with it and get it to where it looks the way you want it to look And if I'm careful with how I water it, I don't have to put a hole in that. Let's see. Right 
break one of those in half. Well, I can put it up here, I guess. Whew. It's still hot, y'all. <laughs> I wanted to get some more of these little um, berries. I'm not sure what they call them. But I might have to get some a few little tie wraps to go on it to hold it in place. Get it kind of like that because <laughs> it wants to pop off the stick if I turn it loose. Kind of do this one the same way because they're plenty long enough. Good gracious. <laughs> But that's kind of the goal I'm aiming for. I'm just not happy with my pumpkins. <laughs> Not happy with the way they're placed. <laughs> Think about it. Maybe I can wrap it around one time. There you go. And actually, if I had a like a tent stake, <laughs> that would probably work even better to hold it right there. I just want to make sure it goes all the way around to the back. Because I want it to look decent all the way around. And it does. It kind of goes to the back. What do you think of that, y'all? You like my Halloween display or my pumpkin? And these have little circles on the end. So you can attach them at the back. And I kind of want to do this little number with another dowel, I think. Or, like I said, you can use a piece of wire. If you don't have wooden dowels, get you a piece of wire. Don't want to get in front of it, but I want to see what I'm doing.
the wire actually works better than the dowels because the wire goes into that foam easier. could put this somewhere else. Straighten it up a little bit. I bent my wire. See, that goes actually down in the uh, foam in the bottom of the pot a lot easier than the wooden dowel does. Because the wooden dowel has a blunt, kind of a blunt end to it, which doesn't allow it to go in the foam very well. I wanted that little thing right up at the top so you could see it. But it's going to be covered with a leaf no matter what I do. Hmm. Let's see. Poke it up under there. Well, it partly shows. And I do think I got another pumpkin I could put right there. I think I've got one in the house. Or I could move that one back over. See, they're very forgiving. These little foam pumpkins, you can pretty much move them wherever you want them. That's about as good as I'm gonna get it. But I think it'll be really pretty when those um, mums bloom. I do need to put a little bit of compost tea on them though. So I don't think that was a whole lot to spend for a, a decent fall and October arrangement here. I'm not going to put a lot of water in because like I said, I don't want the water to stand in the bottom. But I want the plants well soaked. And I'm even going to save this half a dowel because I never know when I'm going to need it <laughs> or use it for something. But I got a good utility knife that I cut through the Let's see the price list. Yeah, all three pie pumpkins, they were 98 cents a piece. But 
The party tub was $5.97. The garlands were $2.78 each. And this party pumpkin right here was uh, $2.62. And like I said, the uh, tub was $5.97. And I ended up with two garlands. I mean, I could put another garland around it. But if I did, I think I'd put it at the bottom. Ah, now I got my table all nasty with the flowers, cuttings off the flowers. Filthy. But if I wanted to, I could, you know, because I do have two of them. And they are plenty long. Let's see how long they were. They're six feet long. And it will go all the way around. And look at this, it's got almost two foot left over. Let's see if I can twist this on here. I'll have to get some little bitty wire tie wraps or something that I can uh, secure that with. Maybe poke a leaf through it. <laughs> Anything to kind of hold it for now. And that way it kind of looks good. Top and bottom. <laughs> How do y'all think that looks? <laughs> For my little Halloween display. Like I said, I will go in and get a couple of little uh, plastic tie wraps, I think. You know, it comes off of loaves of bread, stuff like that, and put on there. But I think it turned out pretty good. And I think it'll look even better when the mums bloom. Because all the dead blooms have fallen off. And they've got little buds fixing to open. So I think that's going to be really pretty. I didn't de deadhead it or anything. Got a little, a whole bunch of little dead flowers on it. And, you know, <laughs> rain is not going to hurt it. <laughs> That looks a little cleaner <laughs> since I washed the mess I made off of it. But the flowers do have a dye, I see. So maybe wetting it wasn't such a good idea. But it's not running too much. I mean, it turned some of it a little pink. And I can raise it. <laughs> Put it up toward the top like the other one. I don't have to leave it down there. Does it 
comes right apart and I can just raise it up. I might like it better up there. <laughs> Here, I can see my little berries a little bit better. like it better like that. Keep messing with it till I get it the way I want it. Put another little dowel right there. May have to cut some of them off. back here and look at it a little bit. Yeah, I like it better a little bit down, I think. Maybe down like that. I don't break my down. to break it off too short but hey I like it that way break the dowel off just a little because I don't want it sticking way out there and I always have uses for short ones so I can just put a little tie wrap on the top of that or even a piece of little tape it'll hold it right there I think it looks a little bit more symmetric that way Well, I can't make up my mind. Yeah, I may do it just like that. Looks pretty good from the back. Listen to those acorns falling, will you? turn my chairs up a little bit so when it rains the rain water don't sit in the seat and leave a dirty ring I was 
going to leave them down since I had this up here. And my little Halloween display. But if y'all have any different ideas, um, leave some comments. If you have any uh, other ideas on how to do this. That turned just a little bit. <laughs> But I think that looks pretty good. Especially when it was just a dollar mums that I had. The clearance mums that didn't look any good. That they thought were done. Probably need to deadhead some of them. Get some of the dead ones off the top. I should have done that before I brought it around here, I guess. Because now I'm going to have the table full of them again. But I can get the broom and sweep it off. You know, I don't want to break off any of the ones that look like they're going to open anytime soon. We don't need these deadheads up here. You know, we planted one mum in that half barrel planter. And I hesitated on planting these because I was halfway thinking about putting them in an arrangement like this. I wasn't sure. <laughs> and now I'm glad I waited because I think this turned out good. Of course, if you can afford the big bums, that's good too. garbage in this bag and put all these dead heads in the bag yeah I still got to come out here and get a tie wrap or something and put it on that little thing there to keep so you got to be careful because the little ones that are dead are so close to the ones that are fixing to open. I don't want to break them off. I really should have scissors out here to do this instead of breaking them with my fingers. I should have done this before, <laughs> but oh well. I'm doing it now. Oh, see, I just broke off one that was fixing to open. You don't even have to deadhead them. You do just be real careful because you'll break off the ones that are fixing the balloon just like I did <laughs> or just leave them they'll eventually fall off anyway but it looks better when you first set it up you know and, and do an arrangement like this if the dead flowers are off of it that's the only reason I'm doing it is to show you the little bit of difference Yeah, I'm, I feel fortunate that I found those mums like I did. I'm 
don't think I'm going to break any more. When this table dries, I can come out here and sweep it off and get all the rest of it off because it's stuck right now. It's dried on there. I mean, it's wet on the table. So. I'll give it time to dry. And then I'll come out here and But what do you think about that? Leave a comment. And I know you can't see it very well. The way the light is here. Let's see. Get closer to it. It's in the shade, so. <laughs> yeah, how, how do you like that, y'all? You have any suggestions on making it look any better than that? Look who's over here. Lucky. <laughs> he was hanging out with me while I was doing my pump, my uh, arrangement. I'm not sure where little buddy is right now. But yeah, there's my, my, that's the only arrangement I'm going to put outside for Halloween. I will put a pumpkin, my lighted pumpkin up in the end window as soon as I get time to get around there to do that. But I thought that would be real cute. Anyway, that's what I had in mind when I saw I had four moms left. And they had all these other things in Walmart that I could pick up. I think it turned out real cute. And then after Halloween, I can plant my mums. Then I can go along the... Um, property line where my green pots are and find any green pots that are available to where I can plant my mums in them. Because I do have a rose bush in one or two. Oh, there's a little buddy. <laughs> he heard me call his name. Look at this. There's a little buddy. They're always usually close by. Lucky over there. And I can't see. Yeah, I'm showing him to you. And little buddy right here. But anyway. There's my little Halloween craft project. And I will show you my window when I put my pumpkin up. I have a garland similar to this that I usually run across the bottom with other little pumpkins. And then uh, I hang my lighted pumpkin right in the dead center of the window. And that way it's lit up at night. But I'm not going to put lights in this, I don't think. I mean, I could, but there's not enough sun to keep a solar light lit. And I don't know if I want to put an electric light in there. But there you go, y'all. <laughs> There's my Halloween pumpkin decoration for my table. And like I said, I do have to come out here and clean the debris off my table that I just got on there with making the arrangement. But I think it's going to be really pretty when the mums bloom. Because like I said, all the ones that were blooming on it when I bought them have died off. And I got some new ones fixing to open pretty soon. So, And I think it'll get enough sun there that those... Uh, bloom should go ahead and open. But yeah, what do you think of that, about that, y'all? <laughs> There's my create, creativity for today. <laughs> Got tons of people going down the street. But yeah, that's my creativity today for Halloween. And I'll catch y'all later. Bye now. Love you.